Hey guys, welcome back to Kuma Style Reviews. What we're taking a look at is Iron Factory's IFEX 20F Fangs of Tyranny. As you can see, they're the cone heads, ramjet thrust and dirge from Transformers. In this, they're called Oculus Puncture and Growl. So, what I've got here, I did a little bit of mixing and matching. So these are actually the samples. These are the retail copies. What I did was take the cockpits from the samples and go ahead and put them on the retail copy. Reason being, that's how they were in the promo pics, that's how they were on the G1 toy, the color and stuff like that. They just plain look better to me. Outside of that, they're pretty much the same. I'll show you the change that they made outside of the cockpits, obviously. But as you can see, the cone on the head on the samples are longer than the cones on the retail copies. The reason that they changed that is because the cones are actually so long that it's hard to get them under. Actually, they won't flip under during the transformation, which you'll see in this review. And yeah, they just plain didn't work. You had to take off the heads to transform them, so they shortened that up. Outside of that, everything's one for one. Literally, the only even color variance that I see is they painted this part of the ring or the wing on Oculus or Ramjet. Outside of that, one for one in terms of color, everything like that, the retail copies are slightly uh, tighter in the joints. The weapons seem to hold on better on the biceps as well. So just, I guess, regular retail QC and tightening and stuff like that that you'd expect from going from samples to those. But the biggest thing is the length of the cones on their head. But anyway, that's just to inform you guys because you're going to get your retail copies. They're going to have the clear canopies and you're going to be like, why were they like that in this review? That's why. I switched them out. So they do come off pretty easy. There's just a screw on the other side of that nose cone part right there. It takes off a panel and it pops right off. So if you want to plastic die yours or anything like that, you're more than free to. It's easy and it'll take seconds. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on with the review. Go ahead and start with Oculus here. Again, ramjet height is with the cones right at four inches the, the regular seekers the wings of tyranny they're about three and three quarters inches tall so the height difference is actually pretty significant here's puncture And then there's Growl. Alright. And the stabilizers back here, I didn't get them. Didn't get them right, so my bad. I really like the blue that they chose for this guy, too. And using Oculus to go ahead and go over the articulation here. Ball joint heads. Some upward and downward movement there. The shoulders are on hinges, partly because of the transformation, but you get some up and down movement, different look in the shoulders. Give them more imposing feel, full ball joints there. They do have full 360 on the bicep, but the weapons of course hinder that a bit. 90 degrees, a little bit more than 90 degrees on the elbow bend. Wrist articulation on all three, full waist swivel. Good 90 or so degree front and back swing. Get that knee back onto the to the pegs there. All right, 90 degree knee bend and okay ankle tilt. Nothing too crazy. So just to get one of these guys into a pose here. And these do not come with stands, unfortunately. They just come with adapters for that. Why they're not included? It's beyond me. But we got a little bit more time here. Let's go ahead and actually get these two into some poses too. And even though they're the same, there's quite a bit of difference to them with the wings and stuff like that. To me, overall, they're pretty good representations. 
And there we go. Let's get these guys transformed. All right, and I'm using Oculus again as the sacrificial lamb. But for the transformation, depending on where you want the weapons to be placed in their alt mode, you can keep them on the arms. I prefer them to be more tuned and toy accurate, so I'm going to take them off, and you'll see what I do. So I just like to get this leg separated in advance, or the arms. All right, this piece pegs into the back. All right, just take that down. And you can see, it's hard to show on camera, but there's an indent here, and these pegs actually will go around that. Bring that in, and that's the part that was blocked. The head on the samples was actually too long to go in there. So, we'll get that, get that. All right, and that pegs together as well. The wings, you flip them around. Now this is where it gets kind of hairy. Just put the feet in like so. But basically, there are two pegs. They're like soft pegs. On each one, they want you to put the legs together first and then unhinge these. And kind of bring the legs down. Unhinge, bring the leg down. I prefer to actually have them separate when I do that. That way you can kind of fit. There's like a hook here. And rather than trying to do both legs together, you can get them in place and then peg them together like so. Then just bring that up, stabilizers. All right, and there is an arm peg there that pegs in. The only difference in the transformations is that the wings are different. So they're all gonna flip around the same and they all have pegs in the same place for the arms to go because it's all the same, but that's it. Now with the weapons, let's take them. Actually, it's the long peg. Peg them in, and there you go. All right, and here is Growl, or Dirge. Oculus, Ramjet, be so much easier if I actually had three stands. And here's Puncture, Thrust, get this more centered. And just like the Wings of Tyranny, these do have the wheels that come out of the shins as well as the nose cone get that readjusted no rotating or anything like that no rotation but let them set down right and just so you can see all three of them together again puncture thrust oculus ramjet growl dirge pretty cool Surprisingly good representations of them. Even though they're kind of stout. But yeah, there they go. And just really quick so you guys can get a get a look at how it transforms back into bot mode. Kind of do it however you want. It's one of those things to where the steps are so few that yeah. Just kind of get those legs out, those pegs that they attach to at the knees. Get those back, separate those, get the feet out, of course, take the guns, thrusters, whatever are down there off. It's just like the Seekers, so yeah. Get that back part out, fin down, wheel in. Oh, actually, get it back in frame. So if you didn't see what I did right there, I put the fit, fin down, or the nose cone as well as the wheel put that in rotate that around this piece right there that little flap you take that in wings just rotate around 
like so. And then they tap in at the back, that whole back piece right there. And there you go, from there. Just pegging the weaponry back into the biceps there, those pegs. There you go. And again, this has been Iron Factory's IFEX20F Fangs of Tyranny. Got Oculus, Puncture, and Growl, Ramjet, Thrust, Dirge. You can order yours at thechosenprime.com. Off the top of my head, I think they're like $70 for the three of them, but I'm not sure. Link will be in the description and you can see for yourself. Check out the full Rendon Victoria review as well, or review and gallery, on kumastyle.com. Link will be in the description, or you can just press the info button right here. As for this video, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments section, and I'll see you next time.